Dear Anthony, thank you for your letter about Pliny's history of the Spartans. It was quite good, though I felt in places there were... Dear Anne, yes, you're right. Pliny is good. Another good old book is uh, Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, a telling satire of 18th century morals. It begins in the land of Brobignac. For 30 years, Anthony Hopkins enjoyed a platonic correspondence with American intellectual Anne Bancroft from his bookshop at 84 Charing Cross Road. And the two bookworms maintained a deep transatlantic friendship, writing to each other of their love for old books. Until, one day, Anthony decided to chance his arm. Thanks for your letter about that old book. I like old books too, as you know by now, after 30 years. Um, Anne... I was wondering if perhaps next time, as well as sending me an old book again, you, you might also enclose a photograph of yourself, perhaps bare or in suspenders, but no bra. <laughs> oh, come on, Anne. We, we know what this stupid writing about books is all about. I want to put you across my knee and spank you until your little ass is pink. I hate books. You do as well. You know you want it. 30 years, 30 years I waited for you, you whore. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Anthony Hopkins. Yes, I am working as I am. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> dear Anthony, thank you for your letter about being a servant. Yes, I agree. Being a servant is nice. I'm glad we're such good friends and feel we have so much to offer. Emma, yes, I'm so pleased you agree. Of all the servant jobs, being a butler is particularly good. Not that I'm knocking whatever it is that you do. That's good too. I wouldn't complain about it. For 30 years, butler Anthony Hopkins corresponded with fellow servant Emma Thompson from the film Remains of the Day in a series of notes left on the kitchen table of the stately home they both worked in. Within these missives, they detailed the pleasure they received from serving the upper classes. Until, one day, Anthony decided to chance his arm. Dear Emma, thanks for the letter about the etiquette of waiting upon a visiting lord. I am very interested in etiquette and manners, as you will know after 30 years. Oh, damn it. Come on, Emma. We know what all this writing about being servants is really about. I, I want you, you snooty harlot. I, I want to throw you over the kitchen table, rip off that maid's outfit you so coquettishly wear, and give you a damn good seeing to. I hate being a servant. It's, it's a rubbish job, clearly. And you agree? If you want it, meet me in the scullery tonight, you teasing Jezebel. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Anthony Hopkins. P.S. I am king as I want this. Lord. Oh dear me. Oh no. What do you think? Writing. I'm, I am writing, writing as right, I write I this. Kind of stand I am right. writing I as I write that this. That makes sense. Oh, no. Dear Anthony, thank you for your letter about Christianity and the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. I see now that Aslan represents Jesus Christ, who's good. Dear Deborah, yes, you're quite right about Aslan, but did you also notice another thing I did, where the wardrobe represents the gate of heaven? I like the Bible too. It is probably my favorite book that I've read so far. For 30 years, Anthony Hopkins corresponded with American divorcee single parent Deborah Winger from the film Shadowlands in a series of letters in which they detailed their love of religion and clumsy spiritual allegories, especially if they had lions in them. Until one day, Anthony decided to chance his arm. Dear Deborah, thanks for the letter about the TV adaptation of my book, The Silver Chair. How very interesting. Yes, I still believe in Jesus, as I thought you'd take for granted after 30 pissing years. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, come on, Deborah. We know what all this talking about religion's all about. I want to I wanna tie you up on my bed and act out whatever perverse notion happens to enter my diseased imagination. I hate God, so do you. I just want to get inside your blouse and cover you in oil artem emollient and, and gentle milk cream. That's the kind of stuff I like. Do that with me, we'll get there in no time. Yours sincerely. Anthony Hopkins. P.S. I am king as I like this. Oh, Lord, forgive him. Oh, dear, dear. Spontaneous.
Yes. Before we start, we had a, a rather serious complaint oh, yeah. uh, about last week's show from the Broadcasting Standards Commission. And the BBC lawyers have told us that we're legally obliged to read out this letter that we received last week. Dear BBC, I am writing to protest in the strongest possible terms about the sketch last week in which I, Anthony Hopkins, a respected Oscar-winning actor, <laughs> was implied to be harbouring repressed sexual desires for my co-starring actresses. Desires which eventually vented themselves in a most disturbing and perverted way. I deny this completely, and as my good name has been sullied, unless an immediate apology is forthcoming, I shall be forced to seek legal advice. Yours sincerely, Anthony Hopkins. P.S. I am winking as I write. <laughs> It's winking, Stuart. Anthony Hopkins is winking hey. as he writes that. He's got a sense of fun behind it.